welcome back, heroes, to some more Pixelmon! Woo! So, last time we got the, uh, synthesized item. And now we're gonna go ahead and help out, uh, the Ponyta up here. From the person's name that I completely forgot. Totally didn't forget it or anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> melon! I got, I got melon. Melon? Melon? <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh my god, no way! This item sounds, uh, like, exactly like the baby pony Ta needs to control our flames. You want to go through great- You went through great lengths to help out Pokemon that others would simply shun. Thank you so much, stranger. Please take this as a token of my extreme appreciation. Stop by soon and check up on her. Ah, flame charge. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it, but thank you. My baby Ponyta is doing much better. The synthesis you brought her has worked miracles. I think she might be pretty close to evolving soon. Aw, isn't that nice. Okay, so we helped out her Ponyta, which is good. Uh, okay, so the person over there would know about Ponytas, but in particular I wanted to do a quest uh, that I saw before, but I wasn't sure how to start it. In particular, the burning flames over here. I wanted to know what's going on over here. Uh, hello, people down there. Uh, is there a person? Yes, there's a person. Hello, Mabel. Okay. Oh my goodness! A hurt pony tall just spread by here, almost burned down the entire furnace. Don't worry, baby. I'm a pony tall expert. You are? Thank goodness! You might be able to get to where it was jumping on the burning on the burnt trees. Here, let me help you up. What? You're gonna lift me? Whoop! Uh, whoops. Okay, well, uh, let's go. Oh, uh, I need ow, 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 ow. I'm burning. I need to actually jump. Let's jump this time, and I might burn to death from. Ow. Uh, okay, here we go. Need to actually jump. Ugh. No, I jumped off. Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. We got this. This is simple parkour. Uh. Okay, made it. And ah, oh, just just barely. I jumped too soon. Okay, we'll get this. Okay, let's do this. Let's huh. jump here. Yeah. Ah, I did it. Okay. So, do I jump? I think I jump from here. Ah. Okay. Ah, we're up. Now we just got to navigate the flames. Oh my. No. Let's not burn. We don't want to burn ourselves. Came too far. It's okay. Bonita. I'm here to help. Uh, uh. Oh, where, where is it? Is there, is there a Ponyta over there? Okay, Ponyta, this is for your own good. <laughs> Ponyta, it's for your own good. You want to come with me? Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to beat the injured Ponyta so it'll come with me. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so let's just go ahead and tackle it. Okay, so we just gotta beat it in a whole bunch. <laughs> oh, the the logic of Pokemon. You're not coming with me, so I must beat your face in so that you will come with me. Oh no, Onyx is on fire and he is also burning. Stop it, Onyx. No, don't do that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to catch him. Bag, Pokeball. Uh, let's just go Ultra Ball. Stay in there, Ponyta. You're coming with us. Whew. Okay. This one seems to be all out of control as well. Look at all that fire. Ah. Ah, I captured a Ponyta. Oh, and there's another one. 
Oh, it's, it was obviously a diff different ponyta. Diff different ponyta. <laughs> oh, and I got a couple broken balls as well. Uh, okay, now I just... I just want to make sure there's nothing else over here before I head back. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, okay, well, this is just where the, you know, ponyta spawn. Oh. Eh. Now I just need to not burn my... Oh, I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning. Ow. Okay, there we go. We got the ponyta. So now we just got to take it with us. And, yeah, that's good. Another, another Pokemon caught. And we'll go ahead and make sure that the Ponyta gets seen and, you know, tended to and all that. So that'd be good. Okay, so we went ahead and did all that. Um, uh, hmm. I wonder. I don't think there's any more quests over there. He's blue, but I don't know what that means. Maybe he'll say something different this time? Who knows? Hey, Chuck. Yes, please. No. Well, he does not want to show us around the ranch. Sure. Fine. Fine. You know, it's not like I care or anything. <laughs> um, does he say anything different? Oh my goodness. I ran right into the middle of a battle. Okay. Let's go ahead on over here. Blatant. Nope, he's back to his old ways. Okay, so... Well, that was all the things over there. Let's go ahead and peek into people's houses. See if anybody's got quests or whatnot. Hey, Bash! Man, I can't uh, seem to leave this place. I was headed towards Frigid Quarry when I stumbled upon this marvelous city. All the people are so awesome, and the wild Pokemon that roam out, uh, outside town are fantastic. I can't wait to turn my hat around and throw down. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you, you go do that, Bash. Uh, well, uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything in here particularly. Uh, is there anything in here? Well, that's Max. I believe we talked to him already. Possibly, maybe. Not sure. Uh, Wallace, he doesn't seem to have anything for us. And... Uh, nothing. It's just nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> um... I remember from the series, they had like a store. Now that's Pikachu mom. She always has the, uh, you know, give her feathers for coins. She actually gives you seven coins for your feathers, which is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Oh, what's up here? Oh, oh, thing, thing, eh, eh, give, give, give. Ah, yeah, XP share. That might come in handy. Uh, I'm probably not going to attach it just yet. I'll probably utilize it when I'm training. Maybe. I got to make sure to... Oh, EV, EV train, IV catch, and, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, so I think all the stuff over there is, you know, sorted out. Doesn't seem to be anybody who has problems. Nope. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head on over this way. Because, you know, there's a beaten path over here, and who knows what kind of things I might find. Oh, if the world would actually load. Oh, boy. It's interesting when it gets like this. Oh, yeah, this is supposed to be uh, Cold Green's house, isn't it? Yep, somebody's messing with the TV. Hello, Miss Green. It's so wonderful to have my baby boy home. I know he'll only be home for a short while, and what with him being a Pokemon trainer and all, but I love every moment, moment of his visits. It also is heartwarming to hear he's made a few friends so far. He's been grilling a lot of turkeys for them, apparently. So where's your son? He went upstairs for a moment to rest. I hope he comes down in, with, in the same great mood he came home with. Since his brother passed, I, I see sometimes find him sulking in his brother's room. Oh, man, this guy's had it hard. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Oh, 
Don't, don't mind me. I'm just stealing your stuff. Ah, it's Cole Green. He seems to be occupied with his thoughts. Leave him to his thoughts, or I can interrupt him. Huh? Hey! Go away, turkey! Get out of my house before I lay the smack down on you! Cole Green style! Well, I guess he doesn't want to be disturbed. Well, okay, so let's just go head on out of here. So that was Cole Green's house. Interesting. The poor man. Okay, so let's head on this way. Oh, wait, wait. I remember something over here. There's a cave. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um. Oh, look! A house! Hello! Victor Voltz. Hello there, traveler! My name is Victor. I study the ins and outs of electric Pokemon. Particularly, I'm interested to see how the electric static generated by these Pokemon affect the environment. It's quite interesting stuff. What the heck are you doing out here? Well, the area is home to a large number of electric Pokemon. It may have something to do with the power plant close by. However, research shows that the electric charges that they give off may influence the area itself, possibly creating a habitat that encourages electric Pokemon, or even an environment that creates electric Pokemon. The environment that creates electric Pokemon? How is that possible? Well, it is possible for Pokemon to disperse electric charged particles that heavily influence the Pokemon environment. Moves like Electrify and Iron Dulge have already shown this. My research may show us how these part uh, part particles have the ability to change Pokemon uh, types themselves. But I need more material. That is why I'm secluded in this jungle. I am searching for iron nuggets and gunpowder dropped by a local Magnemite in Voltor. Oh, oh, I can help. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> Most excellent. I will reward you handsomely for bringing me the required amount to further my research into this awesome phenomenon. Right then, I need 30 iron ingots and 15 gunpowder. Come back when you've collected the materials. Uh, right. I have none of these things. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and head on over to the power plant then. Might as well explore and see if we could find some Pokemon. And in the meantime, we could always, you know, trash some Pokemon for gunpowder and iron ingots. Yeah, well, uh, there's some Pikachus. I don't really need you. Uh, and they drop Glowstone, if I remember correctly, or Glowing Powder. Uh, there is not much in the way of music down here. It's quite quiet. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, up. Ah, the old ruined power plant? Pikachu, why? Why did I do Thunderbolt? That was a terrible idea. Oh, it one-shot him. Yay. Okay. Voltorb. Uh, I don't know if I want to catch him per se. Oh, man, why did I have to do that? Okay, here we go. Gunpowder. So we'll go ahead and explore this cave. So, uh, goodies. Well, not caves. Explore this electric plant for goodies. And also, uh, magnemite and, uh, what drops iron? Voltor. Well, Voltorb and magnemites. Because those are what are going to drop the things we'll need. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to switch out Pokemon. Raichu is just not cutting it. Oh no! You got paralyzed! Wow, Raichu. Wow. That's that's all I gotta say to that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use Matang for now. Because that Zen butt, uh, Zen headbutt, Zen butthead, <laughs> will really throw the smack down on these guys. You know, I might as well catch a few. Couldn't hurt. Um, since I'm, you know, gonna be killing a whole bunch. Oh, there's some Marie. Alright, let's go ahead and catch one. Hacha! And Thunder Wave! Murray. He's paralyzed! Uh, I think. Quick Murray. Attack shouldn't kill him. Yeah, there we go. And now, Pokeball, go! Let's do a Great Ball. Murray. I'ma catch you, Murray! You will go win that Pokeball and be mine. Oh, wow. Somebody just flew by. <laughs> uh, that's creepy. 
So I assume that there will be more um, Magnemites and, you know, whatnots further into the uh, the factory. Excuse me, Marip. Oh, there's that person that flew by. Probably more glitches. Okay, let's go ahead and catch at least one Magnemite. Thunder wave! Thunder wave! Thunder wave! Okay, so a thunderbolt shouldn't kill it. Or, you know, I forgot Raichu's paralyzed. And it did kill it. Okay, well, let's just see what happens if I just throw an Ultra Ball at a Magmite. Yeah! Okay. In the meantime, I shall murder your friend! Electro Ball! Aha! I have your iron ingots! You get in the Pokeball! While you... will die! Here we go. More iron ingots. Okay, let's go ahead and move the gunpowder here. Yeah, he's not being caught. Looks like I might have to actually hurt him. Magnemite. Come on, Magnemite. Stay in the ball. Stay in the... Oh, he might actually be caught this time. There we go. 10% complete. Ah, we're coming along just fine. Magnemite. Whew. Okay, so now I can uh, go ahead and blow up these magic... Uh, ma <laughs> magic mites. <laughs> magic mites! Ah, yeah, you go down. And in the meantime, we need to keep an eye out for, you know, particularly rare loots. Oh, I wonder if we'll find any. Oh, there's a... Nope, I think I've been in that room. Well, we're getting a plenty of the iron ingots. Huh? I... Magnemite? Eh. Uh, oh, there it goes. You will die now! Hey. That is one huge right you. I'ma murder it! Hacha! Oh, right. He's uh he's as fast as me, so let's just go ahead and quick attack! Wow! Take that! Your wretch is not as good as mine. Magnemite. Uh, now what are we gonna do? There's plenty of magnemites all over the place, but I'm not seeing as many Voltorbs. Maybe they're just more of at the beginning. All right, so quest lines, shocking discoveries, 30 iron ingots. Well, it's a good thing there's plenty of these guys around. And that reminds me, I probably should have, you know, kept a lot of the gunpowder I had. I didn't realize I was going to be using it this soon. All right, so you use a dead. And there's one that's a dying. Uh, and Raichu's probably going to be at the end of his, uh, his line. He's about to die. Come on, Raichu, finish this one off. Yishijia! There we go. Good right you. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out to um Eddie. Eddie can take them out with some headbutts. Oh. Okay, so I have 26 iron. Means I'm getting close. I'm wondering what's gonna be at the top of this. Whew! Almost missed that jump. Uh what Oh no! Ah, that jump, it fooled me. Now I'm at the bottom again. <sighs> okay, well, let's just go ahead and rush. Rush on for- oh wait, that's- that's the beginning. Whoops! Alright, let's just go ahead and rush on forward and get back to where we were. Uh, first, I'm gonna go ahead and catch you! Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. You're a ball in a ball. Damn it. Okay, we'll just throw that one. <sighs> well, I guess we'll go ahead and just capture you because you're being a jerk. Thunder wave. Thunderbolt. And you're dead. <sighs> I'll probably catch him another time. It's fine. No, Marip, why? Don't do it. You have everything to live for! 
Now, you, now, you, now you're not living. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and head back to where we were and head back on up the, uh, the factory. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so now we got up that jump. And now we need to see what else is up here. I did find a charge beam along the way. There's like some maze on the side. It's not hard to find. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Now, where to go from here? It's definitely a puzzling place. Uh, is, this feels like the top, but... Is there anything up here? I mean, okay, well, there's... There's these things. There's vines, for sure. And, oh. Maybe I go down the vines? Remember. Okay, let's go ahead and head on down. Ugh. Okay. Now the question is, do I go up? Well, I might, I might have essentially found everything there is to find up here. Uh, uh, nope. Okay, well, yeah, I don't think uh, there's anything else in particular, so the only thing left is to finish up on, you know, beating up on Voltorbs and whatnot. I'll probably try to catch one, and then we'll s I'll see you once I'm finished, and, you know, we'll head back to the scientist. Okay, so I went ahead and got all the stuff I needed. And also, to show you there, I caught a Voltorb. It's it's just kind of minor. I just threw Pokeballs at it until I caught it. Uh, I have plenty of Pokeballs. It's like, might as well. Got a Voltorb and a Pokeball. <laughs> so it's like, inside itself, Voltorbception, maybe? Maybe. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if we could find our way back. And we'll cash in our, you know, findings with the scientist dude. And then I think that's pretty much all I need to do in Cadmium. I mean, I got plenty of stuff and whatnot. Okay, here we go. Mr. Scientist, I have found the necessary requirements for the things you need. Hello, Victor. Amazing! You are quite an adventurer. This is uh, everything I will need to further my research. As a token of my appreciation, take this as your reward. Surely, these moves will benefit you in the future. Also, I'd like to discuss with you a very important request. Come speak with me and you're ready to discuss. Oh, an important request. Thunderbolt! Oh, that's useful. Thanks for helping me out. Now, I've got some serious work to do uh, on these materials. The secrets of electric Pokemon shall be unlocked very soon. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call that here. So that has been Pixelmon, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this uh, series or this episode, leave a like. It always helps out a lot and lets me know that you guys are interested. Um, and also, if you guys are um, new to the channel and would like to see more things like this, leave a sub and join the heroes, and you can get all those YouTube updates. Anyways, guys, this has been Zession of Heroes and Fools, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>